Before this video begins, I'd like to give a special thanks to the people listed on screen for supporting me on Patreon. Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 243. And in this segment, we're going to go to Atlanta for our next race, the Golden Corral 500, as Carl Edwards takes the win of the Bush Race, or Truck Race, not Bush Race, because he won it in the Bush Series in 2004. Yeah. Each week, the stars of the Nextel Cup series face the toughest competition on the fastest courses. Well, nowhere is the competition tougher or the track faster than at the one and a half mile Atlanta Motor Speedway, where finishing second simply means you were not fast enough. Today, it is all about speed and greed as EA Sports welcomes you to the Golden Corral 500. That was a silly intro. Speed and greed, fasty, fast, fast. That, that whoever scripted these race intros is a little bit silly. <laughs> Not the best scripter. <clears throat> but anyways. All that out of the way. We got our fourth pole in as many races this season. And we're starting alongside Brian Vickers. Ball people on the front row. Alright. Of course we got uh, Not Ricky Rudd starting in third. And we got 81 laps, and we got some fucking oversteer. I forgot to adjust the wedge. So here we go. But yeah, I was gonna tighten up the car a little bit, because, like, once again, it was very loose in qualifying. Oh my god. That was millimeters from both Newman and Jarrett. Holy shit, how did I do that? Why did I do that, actually? Right, let's forget how. Let's ask why. Defensive. Completely blocking the only lane I can use to pass in this game. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get for defending so goddamn heavily. Slap two. Do a little give and take, man. Oh my god, I really should have tightened the car up. Oh my god. This is going to be awful. Newman, I've come a long way in these, uh... Like, four years, alright? Cut me some slack. <clears throat> I can see the greed part, yeah. Not no fucking modified protege, protege driving for your team. <clears throat> I'm the top lemon now. Oh, we got us a three car breakaway. All because of me. And that uh, little incident with the 21. It's an interesting top three, though, because myself, Newman, and Casey Kane. Because hell yeah, Casey Kane. Oh, I'm actually pulling away. Holy shit. Also, since this is a 125 mile race, I'm expecting this to be a two stopper. I think I've figured out the formula. When it's one stop versus two stop. Yes, Cubbies. So hey, I'm actually pulling out a gap for once. Okay, you want to do that in English, Cubbies? Because I have no idea what you're talking about.
I ain't know what you mean. In English, please, as I say that. No, but seriously, who are you talking about and what are you talking about? Oh, Biffle, okay. So you said big, and I'm like, who the fuck is big? Big smoke? All you'd have to do is follow the damn pace car, CJ. Hey, Black. How's it going? Got some Mif Biffle might run 500 this year. Gotcha. If he didn't say the Daytona 500 is about to get nice, I'm going to be sorely disappo disappointed in Biffle. It's going okay, how goes the racing? Uh, up and down. I say so far tonight I've done Daytona, which is well Daytona. Uh, Rockingham was a shit show because my car was undrivably loose, and then Vegas was a shit show because my car was unbelievably shit for some reason. And now here we are at Atlanta with a two-second lead and a admittedly looser than I want race car. <laughs> Excuse me, holy shit. Also, my nose is being a giant asshole tonight. That's, that's another thing I've had to deal with. Yeah, this is the Cup Series. We in the big leagues now. Jake, what the fuck? They're still talking about furries and shit three hours after I left the stream? What the fuck what? Uh, I don't know, you coming in here spamming arrows of furry in all caps? Like, usually you just come in here spamming ass and then the fucking... The, the wind emote emoji. Also, hi, John. So, looking at my fuel, remaining fuel, this is definitely a two-stop race. Should be nothing new. It doesn't mean, doesn't make it any less, like, just, what the fuck. Nah, actually, this is, uh, this is Martinsville in a truck. I don't know where you're getting Atlanta and Cup car from. There we go, halfway on fuel. Oh no. 
Almost fucked it. We good? Alright, so I'm gonna make my first stop at lap 30. Then just pretty much just do 30, 30, 21. For stints. Legs hurt, and stop hitting them with your massive penis. Yeah, they had a pretty big remodel project for Martinsville. Oh, fuck you. No. Maybe. My tiny ass, man. Well, judging by how things are going so far here, the car is not a lemon. The driver is, though. At Vegas, this thing was a lemon. I think that was just more down to Vegas being fairly shit in this game. So Newman and Kane are starting to catch me. E. Doesn't help that I keep going super freaking wide around these corners in a game where the bottom lane is the only lane. Brand sponsors, though. I know, right? I, I like my sponsor spread because I got fucking lemon and then Dr. Cranium. And then my primary sponsor is Waste Management, which is, which is an actual company. Yeah, I'm gonna do a. Definitely do a half round of wedge my first stop here. That is for goddamn sure. I just gotta make it to my first stop without wrecking. Doc yeah, Dr. Cranium. That is what's on the side of my car. You'll probably see on the pit stop. Okay, Jake, I'll squeeze your hog. Ryden, squeeze my hog. I can't do it, David Hater Snake. Shit. I don't know. I'm probably off doing things that he cares about, which isn't watching this stream. Oh yeah, the old chat a little 97, oh my god. This is fine. This is not fine. Car is uh falling off a cliff, as has the driver. Hi Newman. How you doing? Newman is looking to make a move on you. And when I said I was gonna pit at lap thirty. I lied, I'm pitting at lap twenty eight. Fucking pass me, Casey. 
Don't speed, don't speed, don't speed. Fuck! Son of a bitch. Well, there go another five seconds. The hell's wedge again? I have no idea. All I know is that adding more of it makes your car uh, understeer more. And getting rid of it, or uh, putting less in, makes it oversteer more. Dr. Cranium. Oh shit, Casey's leading. Probably because Newman pitted. Still Casey's leading, hell yeah. Just losing the lead. I've lost a lot more than the lead. Five second penalty. I think we have a long way to go and recover. And considering I was able to pull out a three second lead before our, everything went to shit. Hi OBS, how you doing? Anyways, um, yeah. Three second lead before things went to shit. Got time to recover. I don't know. Frames aren't things you need to see, clearly. What is EOL? Kenseth! You goddamn twat. I don't know why, after. 243 segments that I can't comprehend the fact that, or I can't fucking remember the fact that these guys are the most defensive ass motherfuckers I, ever. Honestly, that's only under caution, John. Can't really do that under green flag situations. Anyways, still in the top ten at least, but seven seconds behind Newman. And this wedge is doing more harm than good. I wish there, I could do like a quarter turn of wedge, because I feel like that would be the perfect spot. Because now the car is too tight. <clears throat> Except when there's somebody right on my ass, and then it's just, uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's Del Jarrett. In the UPS car. I I don't know what the hell you were trying to say. Like, okay, Let, let's let's just talk about this for a second. I know it's funny to, like, and a hilarious meme to, like, use horrible grammar, but when that's 100% of what... Uh, it's like, what are you even trying to say? Like, fucking... Urpungen Turch... Erfda. You know? Sorry, it was just slightly annoying me. Now that I got that off my chest. 
You may now leave and unsubscribe because I'm fucking dickhead. Why don't people watch me as I insult everyone? Big thonk. Ah. <clears throat> oh well. Anyways, we're up to fifth. Got the gap down to five seconds to Newman. Closing in on Jeff Gordon here. Earth Force Shell came aboard, and then Stuart the Haas happened, and then, well, yeah, that. Sub because you're a dickhead. Hmm. Bet you're also sub the Wings of Redemption. Kappa. Gotta do a lot to piss me off. Okay, now you're just challenging me. No. It's fine. I mean, there is that whole thing with, uh, if the fucking shitty playoffs were never a thing, Gordon would be a seven-time champion. Hey. There is a fucking... A rogue eyelash in my left eye, and it's really fucking annoying feeling, but I can't do anything about it until at least I get on the back straight here. Because what the hell is a pause button? Oh god, okay. It has been dealt with. Jeff, please. Jefferson Gordondo, don't do this to me. Oh god! How did I save that? That's not something you save in this game. I'm a very bad driver. That was all me. Nutty. Da 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 deja vu. Da 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 smack. At least my livery looks good. I'm actually really, really satisfied with the way this livery turned out. On straight. To be fair, I was wrecked. I wrecked on the exit of the corner, not necessarily on the straight. Jefferson Gordondo. <laughs> also, that freaking restart. Let me tell you how good that restart was. It wasn't. I mean, considering what I based it off of, which was the. F uh, Sterling's Waste Management 14. Well, it's not a perfect replica because, you know, the roof should be green and not white, but... Template limitations. I think it turned out pretty damn well. That was quite the Jeff Gordon of a restart. Hmm. Alright, cool beans. I have no idea who Gary Bettman is, so I can't tell you. Also, Brian France doesn't run NASCAR anymore because he's a fucking idiot. Let me just fucking get a DUI. Also, drugs. Did they find drugs? I don't. I don't know. You know who the big loser was in this caution? Newman. Because look where he is now. He's in fourth position. He was dominating. Oh, he runs the NHL. Well, I have no idea. I don't follow it, hockey at all, so I couldn't tell you anything about the NHL. 
period. As that's a sport I have no knowledge of. The only, the only hockey knowledge I have is of playing NHL 2002 on the PC with, on like, super babby difficulty with fucking various amounts of cheats enabled. Specifically the frickin' the fast high, the fast squeaky high pitched voice announcers, which was hilarious. Yeah, no, I had to fucking... I had the difficulty so low when I played that game. I, like, I would end the first period with, like, a score of, like, fucking 31 to 0. Jeffrey, please. Oxycodone. Oh, yeah, there you go. Fucking drugs. Oh, that's an interesting person to uh, battle with. Remember Ricky Stenhouse? Remember his only bit of relevancy was because he was dating Danica at some point? And they kept freaking crashing each other. in the end of this run. So I just gotta hold on here for these last few laps. Yeah, dating and wrecking Danica. Wrecking her on the track and in the sheets. Ugh. I guess the best I can do right now is just keep up with Junior and Johnson. Yeah, Junior Johnson. He sure was a guy. I didn't even know, like, Stenhouse and Danica broke up until, like, way later way after they did. Oh, that was almost fucking death right there. Almost tapped Junior. Which would have definitely sent me around. Trevor Bain won the 500 for the Wood Brothers and then did nothing else throughout his cup career. Considering... Like, it, it kind of goes, it's true for what they say. Literally anybody can win at Daytona and Talladega. Like, you don't need a good setup as long as you got someone pushing you to the front. Oh yeah, that's right, it was a second cup start as well. Wasn't it? Shit. He's tied with Jamie McMurray for uh, least number of cup starts to first win. Yeah, that's plate racing, though. 
I mean, that's how we got fucking David Gill that that uh, David Gilliland and whoever his teammate was at the one time finishing one two at Talladega. I can't remember if it was Talladega or Daytona. Hey, hello, Dale. How are you today? Dale Riffick, that's cool. I don't know why I'm trying to pass Dale here, because I'm going to peel off into the pits this lap. Oh, it was Reagan and Gilliland. Okay, I got my drivers mixed up. Point is, they're part of the same backmarker team, and they ended up 1-2. Alright, I'm gonna keep the wedge in this thing because it actually started feeling pretty good towards the, like, ten, lap 10 to 20 of the run. I mean, I really like Dale Jr. for Dale Jr., which was not the way, reason why most other people like Dale Jr. I have no idea reflexer. If only Junior fan was in here, he would tell you literally everything about what they're doing next year. And how bad it is. I mean, what? Ooh. A little, a little, uh, a little pinchy. I had a feeling they were pitting, considering how low they were entering turn three as they passed me. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Going for that undercut on Johnson and Junior. Not correct. The 119 car is outside. Leaders are pitting. There you go. All clear. This is still not correct. Ah. I just sub to him for his notes. I don't actually want him. I just give him money. The problem is there aren't really any like notable tracks in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, it's whatever. Is this the G circuit? Yeah. Also, I failed to get the undercut, but we're right back where we were when I peeled off to pit lane. Shh, Jimmy. Jimothy. Jim Jom. Okay, that was my fault because I wasn't really paying attention, so just fucking door slap Jimmy Johnson there. Let's give him the old boom confetti. I hit survivor. I'm doing okay. Never mind, my car just super understeered in the three. Bail, please. Go 
Damn it. Oh god, what am I doing? It would be cool if I could actually drive in a straight line. Unfortunately, I can't. Portland's a cool track, if I remember which one it is. Contact racing, but racing's a non-contact sport. I wish they would take the truck in Nationwide, or excuse me, Xfinity Series to like smaller tracks again. That was that shit was cool. I remember watching a uh, a race uh, from like '96 or whatever the first year was the Truck Series when they were still called the Super Trucks. They had a race around this tiny ass flat frickin' like quarter mile track that had literally no infield. And they're just like I don't even know what they had to like mark the actual inside of like the circuit part. Other than maybe a line. Also, I'm pulling away now. Car's hooked up here in these last 10 laps. Mesa Marin. I feel like our, isn't that like the square track? Or like the one that had like the four really odd tur like different turns and was just really oddly shaped? <clears throat> and it was also like less than a half mile long, so... I like most sport. It's a fun track. It does ex provide some like, pretty uh, entertaining truck races. Speaking of circuits I'd like to see return, remember Pike's Peak? No, not that Pike's Peak, the one mile speedway. That was a cool track. It was like really interesting well, as well, because like it was at a much higher altitude than most of the other tracks, so you had to deal with that as well. Like the engines were a little bit more starved for oxygen. I like how Pikes Peak is actually in a uh, race driver 2, Poco race driver 2. Yeah, there's a Pikes Peak Speedway. They used to run the uh, Bush series around it, and possibly the truck series. I mean, it was like, it, it, it was kind of just, you know, uh, uh, it, it was just a one mile oval with like a, uh, a curved front straight. Kind of like Richmond except a quarter mile longer or so. Gateway is a cool track, yeah. I like Gateway. I like that. I like I like how everybody like has that reaction in Race Driver 2 when they see Pike's Peak for the first time. They're like, wait, what? We're racing at Pike's Peak? What the fu oh This is a This This is a speedway? This isn't Pike's Peak.
Yeah, Gateway is a really tough track. Isn't Gateway in Race Driver 3? <laughs> I think it is. I know it's in NASCAR Heat 3 because... Good. I think it was also in Race Driver 3, if I remember correctly. The Race Driver Trilogy had, well, 2 and 3 had an interesting selection of uh, speedways. Because frickin' Pikes Peak and Bristol, I think, was in Race Driver 2. And they had, like, Gateway and... I can't even remember what else in Race Driver 3. It was in Race Driver 3. Hey! Anyways, final lap here at Atlanta. And this is gonna be my, uh most uh, convincing win out of the three I've had so far this season. Because Daytona was, well, Daytona. Rockingham was on the smell of an oily rag with bald tires. And Vegas I didn't win, so. <laughs> but here I'm going to come out of turn four at Atlanta and take a nice 1.6 second victory. Yeah! Yeah! Cool. Oh hey, I forgot Scott Riggs was replaced in the 10. I'm like, who the fuck is Tony Walker? Why is he in the 10? They're both in the 10. They're all in the fence. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable that black and mild would give me 50 whole bits. And then another 50 whole bits. Ow. Unbelievable. Anyways, here's the race results. I'm just gonna scroll this by. Uh, yeah, oh, more bits this time from Cubby. Thank you. Congrats on the not suck. Yeah, we won the Golden Corral. 125. Woo. And who ended up last? Fantasy driver. Okay. Also, again, another uh, 43 finisher race. Woo! Victory lane. Oh. It's just a generic trophy for this race. What the fuck? Why is. But, but, but why did I get a generic trophy for this? I'm sad now. Oh well, whatever. Anyways, with that victory, I retake the point lead with uh, Satan Kenseth in second now. One point ahead of Jimmy Johnson. This is pretty tight between the uh, five of us here. Damn, I wonder where, um, what's his face? It took over Terry Labonte's car. Johnny Sauter, he's in 21st, okay. Tie sheet still top of the bush standings. And my truck driver has fallen to 29th in the truck standings, so fuck him. I guess. Four poles. Four poles and four races. Hooray. Alright, well, let's check out our very large generic trophy for winning the Golden Corral 500. I guess they just, uh, they ran out of time modeling all the trophies, so they just had to settle for a, a generic one for this one. Oh well. Shit happens, I guess, but that'll do it for this segment. We are almost in the top five in fan support. Oh, shit. We're still a very long ways away from reaching level 10 prestige. I don't even think I'm going to reach level 10 prestige, to be honest. Because that's a lot of prestige I need. But, um... Yeah, we'll move on to our next race in the next segment. So stay tuned for that.